Department of Communities has allowed five councils to run an inclusive golf project in their area. These range from learning disabilities right through to blind and partially sighted and Sport and I are delighted to be involved in these projects. This year Golf has signed up to the European Disabled Golf Association which gives golfers within Ireland a chance to take part in events throughout Europe uh, and compete. Um, there's also been a new world ranking for golfers with disabilities that have come into place this year and some Irish golfers feature in that. Um, but from our perspective, it, it's trying to work with golf clubs about how they can become more inclusive and make golf a more welcoming environment to people with disabilities. And so all of us from the Antrim Alice Centre, we heard about this programme through David McKee from the Antrim and Newton Abbey Borough Council. And so we worked with the coach, um, a professional golfer, and it was great because it uh, showed the guys the basics and um, showed the guys how we can use teamwork and communication. And just, uh, it's just great to get them all out as well and just to get them involved in sport. Well, it's great for them because it gets them involved with the community with uh, all sorts of backgrounds and all sorts of people. And um, it just really shows everybody of what people with learned disabilities can actually do because they can do so much if you just give them a chance. Obviously, this is a big year uh, for golf uh, in Northern Ireland against the background of Active Living No Limits Action Plan and our desire that people living with disabilities. It's important for us that there's a, a broad legacy coming from such a, an important tournament. All the we, uh, Councils are, are involved through the funding being invested by the department through our colleagues in Sport Northern Ireland uh, and that means that there's a geographical spread of the opportunities that are, that are available. Uh, the, the involvement of uh, golf and having people participate in golf even with disabilities is, is only one or a number of, of approaches that we're making to have people involved in sport, physical activity, uh, from right across the disability spectrum and across uh, as many sports as there is possible. So uh, the most important thing for me when in teaching uh, inclusive uh, groups is to make golf fun. You know, it's a very challenging sport. So the games we did indoor hall were uh, games where the targets are bigger. So using a hula hoop, for example, rather than a hole and a tennis ball rather than a golf ball. Uh, the putter head is a little bit bigger, so just making it easier to begin with and more fun. First of all, there's a bit of exercise, so we always do a warm-up game um, when I'm coaching any group session. So, you know, breaking off a bit of steam, um, losing off a bit of stress, but most importantly, the golf activities, it's all fun-based. So they're not overly challenging and reasonably competitive. So we had two, two teams today and, and the banter and the fun was, was fantastic. The energy was great. Uh, for me, it was experience. I've been fortunate enough, I've worked up in Muckamore Abbey Hospital um, for six or seven years. I was fortunate to be invited to work there and really with no training, it was sort of on the job. And yeah, it's challenging to begin with, but it's probably the most rewarding coaching I've ever done. And I've been lucky enough to be involved with uh, blind golf and other learning disabilities since then. It's, it's probably the most satisfying job I've ever done, if I'm being honest.